Hey guys, so in this video I want to create a program that generates the ASCII table. So I'm going to put in the description here, um, print the ASCII table. And I've already called this program ASCII underscore table dot C. So let's go ahead and get started. First I'm going to include my library, which is standard input output dot H, or stdio dot H. Uh, integer main void and I'm going to return zero and what I need to do is I need to loop through all of the ASCII characters which there's 25 so first I'm going to need a variable to iterate through I'm going to call it I of course and then we need a loop to loop through uh, each of the characters in the ASCII table so for I equals zero I is going to be less than or equal to 255, which is the number of ASCII characters. And then we're going to increment I by 1 each time. Now all we want to do is do a print statement. So I'm going to use printf and type the ASCII value of the character. And then we're going to put the character here. And then put the digit that's um, I guess that maps to the character and then backslash n for new line and we're gonna put in I for both cases and then our semicolon now the I here although they are the same number you can see that we're printing one as a character and we're printing the other as a digit so let's go ahead and give this a run and let's see what we get okay so now you can see that I get back the ASCII characters here on the left side of the uh, colon and on the right is the number that matches to that character. So you can see like phi here, uh, theta, omega, sigma, and then of course some weird characters as well. And we go further up, we can see the alphabet uh, in lowercase and in uppercase. And even further up, it's going to get even weirder because uh, there are some characters that apparently my computer does not recognize. But anyways, uh, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Become a supporter on Patreon. Leave likes, comments, questions. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I see you all in the next video. The code will be below in the description. Be sure to check it out on my GitHub. See you guys in the next video.